Hi friends, it's Angela. I'm a success coach, both mindset super mom. Making this video here for you is day seven, video seven. And we're going to be talking about, I think people consider a seriously boring subject. I mean, I'm just speaking for myself. I always thought it was boring. <laughs> When you hear folks talk about excuses and being consistent and having habits, like that type of stuff, just, I don't know, it just always seemed kind of boring to me. Like, oh, okay, that talk again. But I think it's weird because the truth is in business, in life, in relationships, you have to have a level of discipline, a level of consistency to make it work. So I'm going to talk about how your level of consistency affects your business. And um, I'm going to talk about a couple of things. If you've watched a few of my videos, you already know. So I had it in my mind to talk about consistency this morning. I hadn't narrowed it down exactly to consistency. I know I wanted to talk about something along the line of habits. But like I said, habits, is, it's kind of boring to me. So I didn't want to just talk about habits. So what I did was I went onto uh, Tony Robbins pages. He's a, he's a pretty cool guy, I like him. And he had a quote here, he says in essence, and it's out of his book called um, The Power Within. I think it's Awaken the, Awaken the Sleeping Giant, one of those, okay. Um, he says in essence, if we want to direct our lives, we must take control of our consistent actions. It's not what we do once in a while that shapes our lives. It's what we do consistently by Tony Robbins or Anthony Robbins. So late yesterday evening, last night, I was listening to a call through the Empower Network um, Power Hour call by Tracy Walker. And she was talking about different scenarios and, and reasons why um, people do not move forward and how there are many people that just struggle and, and struggle and struggle and wait to actually do something about their lives. They wait until they don't have you know anything left to hold on to and then they ask for help. And then when they get help, they want someone to just um, baby them through changing their own situation. And I, I loved that call, okay? It was so powerful. And it was so meaningful and so true being a, a leader and being a any I mean this is how I see it anyone that's living right now they have some type of oomph, some type of strength in them okay when my son I have a two-year-old when um he was first born I went to Walmart and kind of got a I don't like Walmart but I, I was just like in Walmart buying some stuff for him and they had this little shirt that said one in a million on the front of it, a little newborn shirt. I love that shirt. I actually still have that shirt. And it's so true. If you're here watching this video right now, you're a one in a million. So you have the strength to survive something. Okay, you, you're you here. You were born. You made it. And I noticed that a lot of people, they, um, they put their mind to not having the strength to get over other things in life where if you're here living it's the reason why you're here otherwise you wouldn't have survived birth okay you're here because you have the power in you to to get over any challenge that you decide you need someone to tell you that then you know Tracy Walker told you last night I'll be the one to tell you again you know you're gonna have to get over it and if if you're waiting for um, someone to kind of grab your hand yeah people can help you but at the end of the day, you're going to have to move your own feet. You're going to have to put some effort into it on your own because someone cannot hold you on their back and then still get themselves to safety. You know, they can do that maybe once, but that's not something that's going to always happen in your life. It's just someone just dragging you along, begging you to be successful, you know. I mean, I don't know where that happens. It doesn't happen on my team. When you're giving the resources to be successful, you have to apply the habit of consistency. You have to determine in your mind what it is that you want. So going back to Tracy Walker's call, that's one of the main things I think it is. It's 
what do you want? How bad do you want it? Okay. And you know, if you watch any of my videos, I can get extreme. My, my examples are extreme because this is just the way that I think. Okay. If you were starving and you don't have any food and, um, you know, there was no way for you to get the plate of food out of my hand, but you were starving. Would you just stand there looking at the plate of food, begging me, begging me, please, please, please. No, you would figure out some way, however it is that you needed to, if you had to crawl on your nose and your teeth, if you had to crawl on your eyelashes, you would have figured out a way to get over to that plate of food if you really wanted it bad enough. And I think that's the part of online marketing and business that people don't want to talk about. People want to sell you on the easy button method. This business is simple, but if someone's selling you on a lottery ticket that you're going to get rich the next day, then run fast the other way. Because not only is that a lie, but I mean, I, I feel there's some level of disrespect that someone would even think that you would believe that. <laughs> it's a little disrespectful. So, um, you know what you have to do the question is how bad do you want it so people have been watching my videos and they want to work from home and I was that same person I wanted to work from home and I watched a lot of videos and it wasn't until I lost my job until I was unemployed getting an unemployment check that didn't even pay my rent before I said oh the light came on and then I had to make a move I had to build a business online. I had to take action. But all that time before then, I was watching a bunch of videos and you know, I was looking at other people's lives saying, oh, that's cool that she gets to stay home with her children. Okay, well, let me go ahead on and, and go to work and, and pay this four or $500 in, in daycare that I could barely afford. And you know, I can't afford food either, but you know, it's nice that other people can, can do that type of stuff. That's so nice. And that's how I lived too, until I lost my job. So I I kind of went, you know, a couple different places because the call last night, like I say, with Empower Network was powerful. But not only is that call powerful, you're powerful. But you have to be able to tap into that. Like I said, the resources are given to you. You're going to have to say, what does it take for me to get up? in the morning and get this done what does it take for me to work an hour a day to change my life when you tap into that then you will be successful or otherwise you can just watch a bunch of videos and that's not going to make you successful at all you're going to be in the same place that you are now if you do not take action i would have been in the same place that i was had i not have lost my job and got fired why because one, I was making excuses, and two, I thought that other people, I thought that other people deserved things that I deserved as well, but I didn't feel like I deserved it. So I just went and went about my life living things, living and doing things the hard way, struggling and, and you know, crying about it at the end of the day when I was the one that was in control of that. Nobody else. And it's the same thing with you. So consistency, whatever you decide, okay, if you really want it, go get it and be consistent about it make it happen have you joined my team yet I'm not sure why but you do still have the opportunity go ahead and click on the link below this video let's get you started working from home it's only $25 to start it cost me more than that to take my three boys to a movie to a matinee that's super cheap $25 to get started if you're serious because this is a serious team and we're about business and about helping you succeed. Click on the link below this video and I will see you all on day eight. Bye.